Hello horse lovers, it's Winter here and that means that my weather app is my new best friend. So I don't know about you guys but I will literally lie awake in bed at night stressing about whether or not I put my blanket on, if it's too warm, if the horse is sweating or if it's freezing cold outside and it's raining and I haven't put it on then I have the opposite problem where I stress that they're busy freezing their butts off and I haven't done what I could have done to help them out. So you usually get two main approaches to blanketing. One hand you have people who pretty much blanket all the time and on the other hand you get people who are actually against blanketing and I don't know about you guys but I personally fall somewhere in between and so I try my best to make an informed decision about if, whether or not I'm actually helping my horse. The people who blanket all the time will say things like it helps minimize their grooming, their horse needs to be blanketed, they're in a cold climate. Now I'm personally not extremely cold climate, I'm in the southern hemisphere. So our animals don't actually need blanketing to survive. It's not like we're living in Canada or Russia or something like that. People who blanket a lot also try and do it to reduce the thickness of their horse's coat. They might have clipped their horse, in which case they've actually deprived their horse of their natural defense against the elements. So they actually do then have to blanket their horse. And uh, the other reason they do it is because they're just absolutely convinced that the horse always needs a blanket to stay warm in winter. Like they don't have a natural system of dealing with the cold. I think horses would have died out by now if that was the case. Uh, but then again, there are horses and ponies living in Russia and Canada that actually can survive without blankets. So that brings us to our second school of thought where it's basically just don't do anything, your horse is perfect as it is. So the people that say that your horse doesn't need a blanket, their main arguments are things like a horse has its own natural defense mechanism to deal with the cold. Okay, we know for a fact that they grow more hair in winter. We have to brush it out at the end of every season. It's a pain in the butt, but it has to be done and it's just part of how they function. So you have to acknowledge that they do definitely have warmer coats in winter and it's there to protect them against the cold. Horses coats steel pretty well with wet weather. So what they do is the hairs will lump together at the tip and it forms lots of little channels which all link together and that channels the rain around the horses. The thing is though, when there's a lot of excessive rain, that water will eventually penetrate because they don't, they're not like Siberian Huskies. They don't have like this extra layer of to stop it, especially in modern sport horses. So you might find like some, um, some breeds like Shetland ponies that are actually bred for those cold climates they have really, really thick hair in winter if they're left to be natural. And that can make quite a big difference because it is just more of a barrier. So the rain doesn't get through that barrier as easily as lighter breeds or sport horses or that kind of thing. The other thing that they'll say is when a horse eats, and when it's um, moving around a lot, so if it's in a natural environment, not stabled, it should be moving around all the time and then that will also generate heat. And that's true. Okay, but for me personally, if I'm just walking in extremely cold weather, I'm still getting cold. If I'm running, I'll get warmer, but I can't run forever. So that's my counter argument. Another argument that anti-ruggers have against blanketing is that horses shiver to make themselves warm. Now, the human body is actually designed in the exactly same way. And I don't know about you guys, but I know that when I'm shivering, I'm not happy. Firstly, I only start shivering when I'm extremely cold. And the shivering itself doesn't really heat me up. I have to actually get out of that environment and warm myself up. I have to have something hot to drink. I have to have a hot shower. I have to put some warm clothing on or put some blankets on or something to get warmer, to stop shivering. To me, personally, it's not the best counter argument that, you know, oh, it's going to shiver and it's going to magically warm itself up. They also like to say that blankets push the horse's hair down and therefore it's a rectum muscle. That's the little muscle inside the skin that raises the hair up to like give you that like goosebump feeling so basically what it does then is it traps an air bubble around the base of their hair follicle and that's supposed to cause an insulating layer so they'll say that the blanket stops the body's ability to actually do that and I understand what they're saying but I know that if I can get goose flesh in all my clothes under lots of layers of clothes if it's for a fright or if it's for cold I'm pretty sure horses can get it too. Although I will argue in line with that, that some blankets are extremely heavy and I think could potentially um, damage that process. So I think it also depends on like what kind of blankets you're using. A friend of mine once shared a great article with me. In the article, it basically brought out that in 2016, 
the Norwegian Veterinary Institute in Oslo took a sample of 23 horses with different ages, genders and breeds and they clicker trained them over a two week period to indicate whether or not they wanted to have a blanket off, a blanket on or no change in their current condition using three different signs. Once they had trained all these horses and it was clear that they understood what was going on, they then monitored their behavior over a long period of time. And the results are actually really interesting. It turned out that all the horses preferred to not be blanketed in any warm conditions. So typically when the owner had stipulated that they wanted them blanketed, the horses actually preferred not to have the blankets on. However, things changed when it got really cold and especially when it got really wet. So the results showed that when conditions dropped to around 9 degrees Celsius, especially in rainy weather, the horses would then start to ask for their blankets. Um, some of the horses, I think there was two horses specifically, actually didn't want a blanket at that point. They did, however, then go on to request a blanket when the temperatures dropped to minus 12 degrees Celsius. So there was definitely a difference depending on the individual horse. The one takeaway for me from this study is that horses do appreciate their blankets and understand the value of them. The fact of the matter just then boils down to that we need to understand when we're doing them a favor and when we're just annoying them with kindness. If there's no rain, there's no excessive cold, they're actually quite happy as they are. They don't look like they want blankets. One thing that I take personally as an indicator is actually watching their body language and their facial expressions when I do bring out the blanket. They will generally show signs of irritation. You know, like if you imagine them having a lot of flies, they kind of get that look on their face where they're like, mm. um, they'll get that same look if you're putting the blanket on and they actually don't want it. And the other thing, um, shivering, if my horse is shivering, I will definitely put a blanket on her. So I'd say the main thing to remember is that horses have different preferences depending on their breed, their age, their coat layer, their uh, body fat percentage. There are just so many things that can impact whether or not they're going to feel cold in a given situation. So get to know your horse as an individual. Um, I think it's safe to say that if you're getting mare faced when you're trying to put the blanket on, your horse is telling you, no. And if you get to the yard after a particularly nasty night and your horse is giving you mare face, uh, yeah, you probably should have put a blanket on and then also maybe just don't get a mare because you know may as well like that so that's it from me today i hope that helped you guys make up your minds a little bit better on the blanketing issue and if you have any questions you'd like me to try and answer please leave them down in the comments and otherwise like subscribe and hopefully we'll see you guys again in another video soon